September 20th is the harvest moon. It's one of my favorite uh, astronomical events of the year because it's different than all the other moons. It kind of runs its own beat here, meaning that it's not named after the month it falls in. It's named because it is the closest moon to the autumn equinox. Kind of interesting. You know, if it was in October, it would still be called the harvest moon, even though it's here in mid-September, uh, taking the place of the corn moon, which is the moon named after the month for September. So kind of interesting facts. Plus, there's uh, other reasons why it's uh, interesting. It is um, rises right after sunset, leading to pretty much continuous light source, especially, you know, back in the day, we've all heard it. It allowed farmers to kind of uh, an extended period of harvest time. Not only that, but uh, it is a near full moon for pretty much three consecutive days. It's going to peak here on Monday evening, right around 8 p.m. Eastern time. So that means on Sunday night, you have a near full moon. And also on Tuesday, you have a near full moon. So it is several days of pretty much uh, continuous moonlight out there. So I always uh, find astronomical facts interesting. The harvest moon being the more interesting of the uh, moon phases astronomically speaking at the very least you can uh, bring this up in a topic of conversation next time you're you're throwing out fun facts for you and your friends i suppose i'm robert spetta first coast news